Dennis O'Rourke. Uh, Mr Chairman, New Zealand First will be very pleased indeed to support this new Part 8. And in fact, when you think about it, it's surprising that the government itself hasn't done something about this because it's actually fundamental if the government is genuine about improving uh, the ability of people in this country to, to find a home if they actually can't afford to buy one. And if you can't afford to buy one, you still have to afford to rent one. So this section, this uh, part, is extremely important. And uh, I note uh, also, Mr Chairman, that quite recently, in the last few weeks, Minister English was asked to uh, answer a question in Parliament in which he um, stated that um, he, he, that, that the Housing Corporation would add an additional 1,700 places, 1,700 state house places this year. That was what he said the corporation would be doing. But not long before that, during the budget debate, he actually said that the government would be selling 2,000 state houses. So at the same time, it is going to provide a new um, 1,700 state houses, they're going to be selling 2,000. So if you were to believe those figures, and they came from government ministers, then there would be a deficit of 300 houses over in the current year. And that's very strange when you consider the magnitude of the waiting list which uh, already occurs in New Zealand. And I've just been reading, Mr Chairman, an article in Hawke's Bay today. And that talks about the number of people, I think 1,400 it refers to, in, in the Hawke's Bay, uh, in which, um, where people are homeless. And more than that, a huge proportion of them are actually children. And there's actually a photograph as part of that showing two children, um, two children sitting on the uh, footpath with a notice, please help. And what they're saying is they don't have a home. Just two children, no home, nowhere to go. Now, what kind of country are we turning into where children can't find a home? Not just a few, but by the dozens, by the hundreds. What kind of a country are we turning into when that happens? And I'm very grateful to the news media for bringing all of these examples to light. They're doing a great job on that. Now it's our job, most particularly it's the government's job, to do something about it. And yet they are opposing this very sensible uh, new addition to this bill. And that's why I began my speech by saying that I'm surprised that the government isn't doing this themselves. Because the most important part of this, part, this, part, this new Part 8 that I can see is actually the one on the first page, the change to Section 72.8 which would require the government to do exactly what I'm talking about. Once it finds that there are more people who require housing than, it, than, are, than are available through, the, through Housing New Zealand, it would then be required to provide the funding necessary so that the corporation could increase its supply by 1,000 per year. What on earth is wrong with that? Mr English in particular tried to persuade this House only a couple of weeks ago, that the Housing Corporation's program would be sufficient to meet demand. That was the nature of the questions put to him during question time. And that's where he said that there would be 1,700 more places available in the current year. At the same time, of course, of selling 2,000. That doesn't make sense. But nevertheless, that's what he said. Right. Now, if he's serious about that, meeting demand, then, he will, then the national government will be voting for uh, 12. But of course, very few of us on this side of the House actually credit the government with a genuine desire to use Housing Corporation in any way whatsoever to actually solve the awful housing crisis in this country where children, children have to sit on footpaths with notices saying, please help me, ignored by this government, 
and fought for by the parties on this side of the House. It's not good enough. Government, you need to improve. Catherine Delahunt.